Hello everyone. Um, this is a short video update. I am. Uh, we're currently in the weekend of the English Nationals, and um, I've been following it yesterday and today. I have a bit of family to do, so I'm not going to be able to follow it hour by hour. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on. Uh, how the first day went and and uh, what I sort of saw just going by the results so so that is what's going on uh, right now I am in my garden and um, I am recording this um, Sunday morning of the English Nationals so I, I followed yesterday's results and there were some results that were surprising, but mostly they were results that was sort of expected just from the players and from from what we had seen of the lists beforehand. Um, I will do, there is like one person especially who's doing especially well and especially unexpected well uh, from that first day and that is, um, sorry, what was his name again? It was Michael Fairweather. Yes, Martin Fairweather. Martin Fairweather. He ha he is bringing a um, a Death Star type of list with a large tank, and I had not expected him to do as well as he has done. So let's go and watch the results. Um, we can sort of talk about some of them. Right. Um, so this is the result list. Uh, it's on uh, TTT, and um, we can see that uh, in the first round here, this is the first round, uh, the, the matchups, uh, we had random pairings, uh, which would then turn into Swiss draw in the second round. We had uh, expected wins for Topher and for, um, for Pete, uh, both of the juggernauts, and... Chris Davis also has a very strong list. He also had a win in the first round. Gervin of the Welsh team, he had brought his Polish. He also won against Daniel Modi's Australians. Quite a uh, convincing <laughs> victory there. 14-4 um, in Kildice. So that was, that was a rough game for Daniel. Uh, Paul Wickens also won his first game. Again, he is a player from the Welsh national team, so he was expected to do well. Uh, Luke Salter and Steve Dick had a draw. I had expected Luke to actually win this one, because if I remember correctly, Luke won the Operation Aldershot. Um, so I had expected a win there. Russell Wright faced off against Mike Goss. He had the uh, all uh, bamboo spear uh, army list, and he... Russell won that uh, game. I had sort of expected that because I know how um, how um, Russell's Gurkhas would sort of match up against uh, Mike Goss's uh, Bamboo Spears. And I think that you need at least two units of Bamboo Spears to kill one unit of Gurkhas. So that is six units of Bamboo Spears that Mike would have to throw away in order to kill Russell's Gurkhas. So I didn't think that that would be likely to happen. And at the same time, Russell also had brought two stewards. So uh, yeah, that was a pretty bad matchup. Um, then we had uh, Spurley of the Juggernaut. He was facing Martin Knowles at a draw. Uh, Spurley was bringing his uh, Jaeger um, platoon, which I am not a huge fan of. Uh, so that was maybe expected. Johnny Curran. Johnny is a very good player. He was facing Jamie Mike Mecca. Um, sorry if I butchered that last name. And won. So again, that was sort of expected. Johnny had brought a British uh, Gurkha heavy list. Um, sort of a close combat uh, Soto tank list with uh, Bren carriers and, um, and small uh, motorcycle side gun, uh, sidecar um, LMG combinations. And then Martin Fairweather had an uh, unexpected, for me at least, win in the first round. Going into the second round, we then saw all the winners move up to the top tables. Now I'll mostly focus on the top tables uh, going forward here. We saw Russell Wright 
face off against James Faulkner. He won that one. That was expected. Um, of me, at least. Gervin beat Peter Barrett of the Juggernauts. I think, again, looking at those two lists, Gervin had his Polish. Peter, mm, yeah, yeah, that was expected as well. Topher of the Juggernauts, the English team captain, had an unexpected loss to Michael Smith. Um, I did not see that one coming. Martin Fairweather had a draw against Mike Parker. Um, yeah, they were sort of the list was sort of similar uh, on on level, I think. Um, so I, I I can get that. Paul Wickens had an unexpected loss against Johnny Curran, but Johnny is a very good player. Um, Johnny, you should apply for one of them uh, national teams. You should. You're very good with this. Um, Gary Morgan had a huge win against Richard Getney. Um, and Chris Davis and uh, Richard had a draw. Uh, Matthew faced off against Luke and also had a draw. So we have a few players here in round two who are on two draws, which is kind of interesting that they are sort of following along with the, the winning players simply by drawing in the, most of their games. Then they went into round three where Russell Wright was faced off against his teammate on the Welsh team, Gervin, and he won that one. Um, five kill dies for each, which is expected when you're facing off Polish against Gurkhas. Not a lot of things will die, but some will. Um, Michael Smith was facing Gary Morgan. They both had a draw. Johnny faced off against Steve and had a massive victory. Um, and Martin Fairweather had another win with his Death Star list. Martin, you guys, you are really going well with that list. I did not think you would. Um, that is really cool. Richard had a face off against Mike and won. Chris Davis won against James. And James Faulkner lost to Topher. Pretty much expected. Pete of the Juggernauts won against Owen. And Luke Salter, who was at this point on two draws, I think, had a huge win against Mike Gosser's Japanese spam list. So well done there for Luke. Which means that going into round four, the first round of today, we have on the top tables Russell, who's facing off against Johnny Curran. They are both at three wins right now. Martin Fairweather against Chris Davis. They are both doing well. Michael Smith against Richard. Gary Morgan against Luke. Topher against Gervin. That will be an interesting matchup. The English team against the Welsh. Paul Wickens again. The English team against the Welsh. Paul Wickens against Peter Barrett. Um, so we have the Joggers against the Welsh team here. Interesting start and... I'm very much looking forward to the first results of the day. Good luck to everyone playing. And uh, oh, <laughs> I, I so much wish you guys had brought cameras and were recording what was happening. That was it for me for today. Good luck, everyone. And bye.